Shalom family, this is Yuda. Uh, it's almost six o'clock in the morning. I've been up since five, uh, four o'clock. I had a comment come in from Truth Seeker 3396. And I don't know if it's a man or a woman, but for the sake of error, I'm just going to refer to them as they. Now, this is what they wrote. I watched this video 40 minutes long. Did I miss you sharing what dates were, were, the, were the keeping of the seventh day Sabbath? Honestly, I don't know if I have given any dates in particular. And I guess because when I explain how the new moon works, I just figured that it would be uh, self-explanatory. You know, we can't keep Gregorian calendar and consider ourselves keeping the true Sabbath. And I've done this lesson, I can't even count how many times now. Now, I don't believe that this person is being arrogant. I believe they really want to know. And as tired as I am, I'm going to try again for the sake of those who haven't caught on yet. So let me start this comment over. I watched this video 40 minutes long. Did I miss you sharing what dates were the keeping of the seventh day Sabbath? The day of rest. Please tell me starting from the beginning of the heathens January 2023 which dates of each week did you keep the weekly Sabbath all right I'm gonna stop right here which weekly dates did we keep for the weekly Sabbath first of all January is not the first of the year for the true people of the book that was explained in, Mos in, in Exodus. The Most High told Moses that this month will be the first month of the year to you. So what was he telling Moses? What month was it? If you go back and read, um, you will see that the new year always started during harvest time. And harvest time, even to this day, is always the first of the year. In the month of Aviv or the month of Nisan. That's when the corn and the barley are ripe. And it's usually between the last two weeks of March and the first two weeks of April. Which is depending on the cycle of the moon. Remember, the moon sets these dates and the cycle of the moon varies. This is why we have to watch for the new moon. Now, once you spot the new moon, that will be the first day of the month. That first day of the month is not counted as a weekday, it is setting the pace for the month. Now, if you want to know what day of the week that you're in during this cycle, it's really not that hard. <clears throat> Today, for example, for us in Eastern Africa, it's Sunday. It is the 15th day of the biblical month. If you don't believe that, Sunday, <clears throat> go out and look at the moon. It will be a full moon. The 15th day of every biblical month is always a full moon. That lets you know you're in the middle of the month. You're in the second 
week of the month. That's always the 15th. When you read the, the scriptures, they always say the first day of the week on the seventh month, etc., etc. It's a reason that the Old Testament or the Torah never used names for days. They knew how to count from the sighting of the new moon. You will never see Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and so on, because that didn't exist. This uh, Gregorian calendar has been one of the biggest stumbling blocks for our people. They've latched on to this Gregorian calendar and they refuse to let it go. Some just out of pure arrogance, some just because they really don't know. So like I promised before, no matter how tired I am doing these lessons, I will continue as long as I feel that whoever asks these questions are sincere and not just being uh, a mockery. So the Sabbath this month is Sunday. We saw the new moon and it fell on the Gregorian Sunday. Now I refer to the Gregorian Sunday so that most of you who hasn't caught on yet can keep up with me. And I really don't like using the term Sunday because I know where it came from. But just because our weekly Sabbath falls on a Gregorian calendar day does not mean the Gregorian calendar is correct. And that's where I seem to see most of the confusion. I wish that I knew a way to get you out of this Gregorian dilemma so that you can begin to honestly see the true calendar days. And this was their plan. This, is, this was not a coincidence. These are the most clever beasts of the field. They knew exactly what this would do. And I see the proof every single day year, every single month, every single day. And I'm doing the best that I can. Um, it gets frustrating to me, but I have to keep myself reminded <clears throat> that some people need more help than others. Okay, I, I get that. And it's, it's even more frustrating when you keep repeating the same lesson over and over. But as it stands, it's probably necessary. So I will continue. Now they said, <clears throat> the, day of, the day of rest, please tell me starting from beginning of the heathens January. Well, first of all, January is the winter months. Nothing grows in the winter month. Everybody knows that. All the leaves on the trees are yellow or dead, falling off. That's because the temperature is too cold for anything to revitalize. Nothing comes back into regrowth until the proper time, which is in the spring. That's when everything comes back to life. That is your harvest time. So when the Most High told Moses, this month will be the first month of your year to you. That time, at that time, was the month of Aviv or Nisan. It wasn't January. It wasn't during the winter. So when you know that the month of Aviv or the month of Nisan is the true beginning of harvest, then it shouldn't be that hard to realize it cannot be January. 
It just cannot be January. They say, Teresa, you have to remember to turn these lights off. We don't pay a bill like in the States. And it'll zap our electricity, which we'll end up spending more, and we're trying to survive. Yeah. 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 I was going to go ahead and turn it off, but I didn't want to invade your privacy. Yeah, that's okay. <clears throat> They said, uh, the day of rest, please tell me, starting from the beginning of the heathens, January 1st, 2023, which dates of each week do you keep the weekly Sabbath? Again, it depends on the new moon. That is our clock. That's our calendar. That's how we know. So when you spot the new moon, for example, if it falls on a Gregorian Wednesday, that is the first day of the month. The next day, you count from that day, seven days. That's the first day of your week. The first day of the month and the first day of the week are not the same. They're not the same. The first day of the month starts the new month. The first day of the week starts to count for your seven day, for your four week of seven days. That you are to work six days and on the seventh day, you and all that are in your house are to rest as stated in the 10 commandments given by the most high for the people. Exodus 31, 12 through 17, Deuteronomy 5, 12 through 15. And these scriptures are correct. They're just misunderstood. You won't understand these scriptures until you first catch on to how the new moon works, the cycles. Once you get that, then Exodus 31, 12 and 17, Deuteronomy 5, 12 and 15 will make sense to you. It will make sense. They say, I went from the Sabbath day to feast days. Yes, that's the way it works. The first day of the month starts your month. The second day after the new moon starts your weeks. That's where you count your seven days. That's the most high seven days. Not the Gregorian or Pope Gregory the Eighth. That is the Most High's calendar. You need to learn that calendar. They say, so I went from the Sabbath day to feast days. <clears throat> the Sabbath always comes. The, even the Sabbath is a feast day. Let's get that straight right now. <clears throat> and every other feast day and Sabbath day comes after that. The Sabbath will always be first. The new moon day is also supposed to be celebrated, not like a regular Sabbath. But we are to celebrate the new moon day because it is the beginning of our month. So they say, so please share all the Sabbath dates you have kept so far this year. Well, let me let me elaborate on that too, because the Gregorian year started in January. You see, our new year has not even came yet. We're in the eleventh month, the eleventh biblical month. So our year has not began. So it's impossible for me to start from January as Gregorian calendar. All that's going to do is create more confusion. I don't want to create any more confusion. I'm, I'm trying to get you to see the truth. 
All right, so they say I went from Sabbath day to feast days. Yes, that's that's what happens. That's the way it works. So please share all the Sabbath dates you have kept so far this year using dates instead of days. Well, now you're asking me to go all the way back and find these dates. Do you realize what you're asking me to do? It's, it takes a lot of work to put these lessons together. And now you're asking me to do more work. So let's not go back. Let's start from right here. Right here is the 11th month. Let's take it from here and move forward. I just can't go all the way back. I mean, there's, I'm working on other lessons right now, and now I, I, they want me to stop and satisfy or convince them. Well, as much as I would like to, I'm not here to convince you. I'm only here to share the truth with you. I cannot convince you. That's up to you have to convince you. I can't do it. I gave you the scriptures. I gave you the picture of the moon, what it should look like, when to look for it. I mean, what else do you want me to do? And again, whether we want to believe or accept this or not, the truth is just not for everybody. As cruel as this might sound, the Most High calls those that he seeks. The ones that he calls, their eyes are open. He opens their eyes. The ones that he didn't call, he don't worry about them. Their eyes stay shut because he knows their true nature. Now, I'm not saying that this person, truth seekers, I'm not saying that their eyes have, that has not been chosen to be open. Obviously, they must be chosen for to be able to see. They must be a chosen people or they wouldn't be concerned about this. They wouldn't be asking these questions. So if I had to guess, I would say truth seeker is a person the Most High is trying to reach. Now, when the Most High is trying to reach you, there's many ways that he does that. Sometimes through signs and wonders, sometimes through other people. In this case, I clearly see it's through other people, which namely me. But you need to remember something. I can only show you, but I can't make you see. You have to be able to open your eyes and see. One of the biggest questions when I discovered this that I used to ask myself was how did we get names of the days? When I read scripture, I never see a name of any day. And to most people, that is no cause for concern. It doesn't even bother them. It should be a huge red flag. If the Most High did not call names of days, instead he called numbers day one, day two, day three, all the way through the calendar, all the way through creation. He only said day one, day two, day three, all the way to day seven. Why does not make you wonder, where did the names come in? I did a lesson on that. To help you see how the heathens made another attempt to mislead us or deceive us. I'm beginning to realize they were much more clever than I realized. Because a lot of our people are stuck in Gregorian calendar. 
and they refuse to let go. And it really makes my heart sad because some of them I can really see that they really want to know or they really want to understand. And then some of them come at me like a warrior. They want to cut my head off because they don't agree. If you don't agree, that's fine. That's your choice. Every one of us was given the free will to choose whether we go right or whether we go wrong. If It's always been our choice. So I won't be able to convince anybody. The convincing part is, is going to have to come from you. I gave you the scriptures. I gave you the logics. I gave you the practical. So you're going to have to take that and do your study the same way I did. And if you keep at this with your diligence, believe me, just like me and my wife, it didn't come all at once. We had to keep digging. And then finally, I guess when he realized we were serious, then he let us see. He's not going to just give it to anybody. You have to prove yourself. You have to prove that you want this. This is why he says, seek him diligently. That means hard work, hard looking, deep research, diligent. And that's something that nobody can do for you. I can go through all of this step by step, which I've done. It still is no guarantee that it's going to register to you until you put in the work. We're all going to be judged based on not just our faith, but the work we put in. And I'm going to tell you, honestly, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. It's a lot of sleepless nights. It's a lot of rereading, going back over, read again, read again, read again. It takes a lot. <clears throat> but that's you proving to the Most High, I really want this. Please let me see. That's just how it works, people. I, I don't know what else to tell you. So I'm just going to read the rest of this, and then I'll explain my reply to this later. It says, um, I need clarity, please. And I, I really believe they are sincere. Example, for the month of January 2023, which dates between the 1st and the 31st were the 7th day? Okay. This month is Gregorian January. The Sabbath fell on a Sunday two weeks ago. So we're not in January. Biblically, we're not in January. So the Sabbath this month is on, this is the 11th month. This month, the Sabbath fell on a Sunday, Gregorian Sunday. The day that we saw it, we knew that was the first day of the month. In other words, this month is the new beginning. The word moon simply means month. So they asked for the month of January 2023, which dates between the 1st and 31st were the seventh day. That's Sunday. That's, that's Sunday. All this month is Sunday. This particular Sabbath that we're entering into today at sunrise is the 15th day of the biblical month. Now for proof, go out on Sunday evening, late Sunday evening, and look for the moon. The fact that it will be full tells you it is the middle of the month, the 15th. It's the 15th day. And it says, uh, please, the dates are for February 2023 so far as well. Okay. 
the date for Gregorian February, we won't know until we see the new moon. The new moon calendar, the, or the creation calendar, it never falls on the same day each month. Keep this in mind. The Most High created seven days. When you read Genesis, it shows no significance that there's only one day that deserves to be the Sabbath. He created seven days. Wouldn't it make sense that he gave each day an opportunity to share the glory of being a Sabbath day? So that means every day of the week, of the biblical week, gets a chance to be a Sabbath day. He didn't create just one day out of that week and forget the other six. Now this is usually where the confusion comes in because there is only one Sabbath day but it's different from month to month. But if you if you keep the creation calendar you will notice on the right hand column the days are always in the same exact column. Ah, oh, boy. So let me read my reply. Shalom. Believe me, I completely understand your concern. It's not as complicated as it seems. The Gregorian calendar has been a trap for the people of the book. Our enemies cleverness has been severely underestimated as I'm sure you know that they have been seeking to destroy us for millennia. This is not news, it's fact. It should be obvious that the harvest time has never been in the winter or the cold months. Fact number one, since harvest season is during the spring, it cannot be in January. That means we have been off by three months. Moses and the Israelites were told when they left Egypt, that this month will be the first month of the year for them. That was the month of Aviv or Nisan, which means first. This would mean that this beginning of the year had to be between the last two weeks of March and the first two weeks of April, depending on the cycle of the moon. That's why you have to watch. You have to watch for this new moon. And many of you are blessed that you have people like me and a few others that tells you when this event occurs. Because there will be times when there's clouds in the sky and a lot of people won't be able to see it. But believe me, you have watchers out there. So if you don't see the new moon, this is why you need to learn to count. You count 30 days from the last new moon and you will get it right. So that's just in case you don't see it because of clouds or whatever the case might be. If you count, this is why he, sh he showed us numbers. So you watch the time when corn and barley are ready to be harvested and you will see that it's during the month of March and April. Since we know that we are not to follow man's rules, laws, or traditions that includes their calendars, the Most High placed his calendar in the heavens where it is out of man's reach. Now you are also concerned with the seventh day. When you read Exodus, you will notice that it only mentions days by numbers, day one, day two, and so on. Ask yourself this question. Since our Creator never mentioned one time that Sunday was the first day, neither did He say Saturday was the seventh day. So who said that Sunday was the first day and Saturday was the seventh day? Since the Creator did not call names of His days, 
It had to be man, the Romans to be exact. If you observe the first day of the month, which is the day that the new moon shows, you start, I meant to, you start counting the days of the week that very next day. Don't count the new moon as one of the days of the week. You count, you start counting the day after the new moon. And count seven days from the first day of the week. That will be day two. And you will get seven days. And all the weeks following that will be the same. You will get seven days. The 8th, 15th, 22nd, and 29th. It's going to be that way every single month. Every single month. So when you start counting the days of the week, that very next day, which would be the first day of the week, not month, you will have four weeks of seven days. There is your seventh day. That is your seventh day. Not Friday. Not Saturday. And also keep in mind <clears throat> that since that that new moon, there will be times when it does fall on a Gregorian Friday. <clears throat> But that doesn't mean that Friday is the true name of that day. It just happened to be the seventh day that month. Another thing, the true months never exceed 30 days. So there is no January 31st. There is no February 28th. February has 29 days in it. And I'm using the, the name February for the sake of understanding. The true months never exceed <clears throat> 30 days and never less than 29. It was our enemy who added the extra day to their calendar that caused us to stumble. And that shouldn't be a surprise. And they removed one day from the creation calendar to give us the 28-day month, which they call February. During the Exodus, they were not addressing the day by any name, which is why you never see anything but on the 15th day of the seventh month or on the first day of the week on the fourth month, etc. Go read it. See if I'm right. You're never going to see uh, Sunday or Monday or Tuesday or any other day. You're going to see one through 30. That's it. That's all you're going to see. The Most High is not incompetent. Obviously, he did not want you to call these days by pagan gods' names. If that's the case, he would have given us those names. So what did he give us? He gave us day one through day seven. That's what he gave us. Who gave you month Sunday through Saturday? Man did. The beast they gave you Sunday through Saturday. You can't find nowhere in the book where the Most High gave you that. You can't find it. It's not there. He didn't give it to you. And yes, you can count out seven days of the Gregorian calendar. But this is, this is in direct contradiction to our Creator's calendar. Surely you don't believe that the heathens would obey our creator. So, for proof, read Daniel chapter 7 verse 25. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, against his calendar, and shall wear out the saints, that's what he's doing right now, of the Most High, and think to change times and laws. That's what they did. Daniel told us a long time ago that they were going to do this. But we didn't realize what Daniel was talking about. It wasn't just the time of the day or the time of the year. They changed the calendar. 
They created their own version of a calendar and handed it to us, and we will not let it go. And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change the times and the laws. And they shall be given into the hands until the time and times and the dividing of time. Our Creator warned us about this. So all of you who follow Gregorian calendar, you have been given into their hand. And if you don't break that cycle, you will stay there. The Sabbath was a contract between us and the Most High himself. The Most High identifies his people by the keeping of the Sabbath. That's why it is one of the holiest days of our days. Because that was an agreement. This is how he knows you belong to him. You have pledged yourself to the Most High by keeping the contractual agreement. If you keep the Gregorian with these pagan names for days, you are simply pledging your allegiance to Lucifer, not the Most High. The Most High had nothing to do with the Gregorian calendar. If he did, it would have been in Genesis. It would have been in Exodus. The main reason why I do these lessons online is so that I don't have to try and teach them on my phone. It's tiresome. My eyes are, are dim. I am almost 70 years old. I don't see as well as I used to. And so when I have to try to teach you on my phone, do you realize the pressure and stress that I am under? And I'm trying not to ignore you because I really believe you want to know. And if you really want to know, take the scriptures and the lessons that I give you and research them. Research them. And I'm sure I'm still going to get some questions, but I guarantee you I won't get nearly as many. I explain all of this in many of my videos, and here I am trying to explain it again on my phone at 4 o'clock in the morning. And I responded to them, your YouTube handle says Truth Seekers 3396. Well, you have been given the truth. The Most High could have just as easily said Sunday is the first day, but instead he said day one. The Gregorian calendar has been one of the most effective ways the enemy has deceived us. And many of our people refuse to let go of this blasphemy. As far as the dates are concerned, we are in the biblical 11th month, which is the Gregorian Sunday, and it's actually the 15th day of this biblical month. Don't believe me? Look for the full moon Sunday. The moon is always full in the middle of the month, the 15th day. After the 15th day, you will notice that the light begins to decrease from the moon. If you can't see this, then it's probably not meant for you. Remember, only one third of our people will be saved. The Sabbath is a contract between us and the Creator. This is why we need to know the proper season of His Sabbath and not man's. And I told her, I'm going back to bed. And if you opened your eyes, then this should be more than enough to get you on track. The new moon showed up on Gregorian Sunday this month. This means that Sunday is a Sabbath this month. Well, obviously, I didn't go back to bed. This was, uh, I don't know, 
I want to say disturbing, but I don't know if that's the right word. I guess what I'm really trying to say is I sensed that Truth Seeker was being honest and not arrogant. I sensed that Truth Seeker really wanted to know the truth. Now, all I can do is show you scripture and break it down for you. And I have put it in the most simplest terms that I can think of. I don't know what else to do. And don't think that I don't want to help you. I do. I do. If I didn't want to help you, I wouldn't be doing this right now. And I don't have nothing to gain from this. I'm not getting paid. There's only a few people that make donations to this channel. I could name them by names. I don't want to put their name out there because I don't know if they would agree with that. But it's not like I'm doing this for pay. If I never got any donations, which I rarely ever do, I'm still doing this. I'm going to keep doing this. So it's not about money. It's not about the number of subscribers. And I see people teaching on YouTube and they are so incorrect. And they have thousands of followers. I got just a little over 500. And it's, it varies. It's up and down. Because everybody don't agree. So I don't, I don't focus on the numbers. But I want you to understand that I'm not doing this for pay. I'm not doing this for, for numbers. I'm doing this because it's time that we knew the truth. It shouldn't be that difficult for us to realize how we've been screwed over and messed with and manipulated. It's like you forgot that in the beginning they set out to destroy us. They said we want to make sure that they are never remembered as a nation no more. That means completely annihilated. Did you forget they want you gone. They don't have any limits to what they will go through to get that done. So they twist everything the Most High gave us. You did not get Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday from the Most High. You did not get that from him. You got that from Pope Gregory the Eighth who is part of the beast system. Let it go. It was not meant for you. The creation calendar is what was given to us. That's what was meant for us. So we have them and we have us. Them will never agree with us. Their main purpose is to keep us in sin, whether we know it or not. If we are in sin, even if we are ignorant to it, does that change the fact that we're in sin? No. You are in sin even if you don't realize it. This is the whole purpose for teachers, supposedly to teach the people how we've been fooled and manipulated and misled. This is why two-thirds of our people are not going to make it. This is why. Because Anything you give them, they consider new, that doesn't agree with what they were taught as they grew up, they reject. The Most High knew this too. He says that if you reject him, he will reject you and your children. That's the reason he told us this, because he already knew what they were going to do. The reason the Hebrews calendar was placed in the heavens 
is for to keep man hands off of it. If the Most High had given us a paper calendar, they would have changed it immediately. So he put it out of their reach. No man can change the cycle of the moon or the rising and setting of the sun. No man can do that. And that's the reason he put it there. We are supposed to follow the new moon. That new moon is what sets the Sabbath and the feast days. That's how it's set. And nobody can change that. A lot of people seem to think that I should spend my time trying to convince them. Well, that's not part of my job description. My job description simply is show my people the error of their way. It's not said that don't stop until you convince them. You have to convince them. No, I don't have to convince you. I just have to show you. Once I show you, the rest is up to you. It has nothing more to do with me. I'm not getting a ton of money for doing this. I'm not doing this because it's fun. This is a lot of work, whether y'all realize it or not. Y'all don't know how many nights I'm up late getting very little sleep just so I can find the truth that our people need and give it to them. I have to put in my work but it's freely given to me. So I don't charge you for it. I've seen YouTubers or so-called teachers, they got 50, 200,000 and, and even more following them. And they are starting to say, if you want the whole story, then you should donate or give this amount of money. This word was not meant to be sold. And they're doing that. And people are following them like they were the most high himself. And then somebody like me comes along and shows you the truth. And you don't give me anything. So why do you think I'm doing this? I wish somebody would tell me, why do you think I'm doing this? Those of you that give donations, you know who you are. I don't have to mention no names. Each one of you that has given anything to this channel, y'all know who you are. And that means those of you who have not given, you know who you are. And I'm fine with that. I didn't do this or start doing this for donations. And that, don't, that does not mean <clears throat> that I don't need financial help. I trust the Most High to keep me financially stable. I depend on Him. And so I do His work according to His will. Show my people the error of their way. Bring them back to the truth. That would be the Torah. <clears throat> That's the reason I do it. And I'm telling you, it is so tiresome. It is. And the older I get, the, the more strain it is on me. But I'm going to keep doing it until I don't have no more breath left in my body. And I really wished that it was as simple as just ABC. Believe it or not, when we started searching this thing out, it wasn't simple for us either. It was not simple. Man, there was a lot of nights. We were up till 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, sometimes reading the same chapter, 
10, 11, 12, 13 times over before it finally opened up and we were able to see. <clears throat> I don't know how many more times I'm going to have to uh, to go over this, <clears throat> but as long as people like truth seekers reach out with these questions, I can promise you if there's breath in my body, I will respond because I truly believe that they sincerely want to know or they are really trying to understand. So I'm not going to turn my back on them. Even if it's just one, I will spend the time that it, it, I feel it takes to help that one see because once that one can see, they can now show somebody else. And it will continue that cycle until those that have been chosen to see will all see. And keep in mind, there is many of us that has been chosen not to see. That means that they have been cut off. They will never see. And I'm hoping and praying you're not one of those people. It would not benefit me one bit to lie to you about this new moon. It would not benefit me. In fact, it will be to my detriment. It will destroy me for bringing you lies. The new moon is a fact. It is the calendar for Israel. I'm going to end this here. <clears throat> And I hope that Truth Seeker sees this video and uh, try to understand something. Your questions are important to me, but I can't always respond on the phone. So what I really want or wish that you would do is to go through my channel and look at all the videos that I've done on the new moon calendar. If you look at all of them, maybe there's one or two that will click for you. Because I have broke this down in so many different ways trying to help my people see that the Gregorian calendar is man-made fiction. It was not meant for you. That was their system. That's the beast system. The creator's calendar is set in the heavens. It's not a part of the beast system. The days of each, the days of each week that they named are names of their gods. They are honoring and worshiping their gods. Your God is not in that. He is set apart. He is not part of that corruption. Shalom, Israel. I will go back to bed now. <clears throat>